Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set the pulling rate on your keyboard through the Corsair IQ software. First things first, obviously, is to install the software. So, I already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, I have a link down in the description below. So, under devices, you want to make sure your device is plugged in. My keyboard is not So now that's plugged in, the software will automatically detect the device. And if you're wondering what pulling rate it, or yeah, pulling rate is, the pulling rate of a keyboard is the frequency of how often your keyboard sends data to your computer, and is measured in hertz. The faster the pulling rate, the quicker the response time of each key press. So essentially, the higher the hertz, the faster your key uh, stroke will be response or sent data through through the cable. To your computer to let them let the computer know that okay this key's been pressed at this time so first things first you want to go to settings once your device is plugged in uh by default my computer my keyboard's being picked because it's the only corsair item that i have but if you have more than one corsair item you'll have a selection of uh devices to choose from and right here where it says pulling rate it's set to a thousand hertz and that's like the equivalency of one millisecond as soon as you hit a keystroke change that you can go to 500 which is two second millisecond 250 Hertz which is four millisecond and 125 Hertz which is eight millisecond now I don't really know what the purpose of this is you would think for gaming purposes you'd want the faster keystroke but maybe if you want delay you could have a slower response pulling rate but in this case to apply the setting all you gotta do is select it so in this case, it will reset the device and then let you know that it's been de re 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 redetected. There we go. And it will apply the pulling rate and automatically save it. Hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.